Welcome back to this new inspirational video. Today I wanted to go over six steps that were shared by Robert Collier in his book The Secret of the Ages. And it's from the chapter This One Thing I Do. So I have a physical copy of the book here on my desk. And I wanted to share these steps first, what they said, and then we're going to expand upon each point so that you can actually apply this to realize your own dreams way more effectively. Because ever since I've been doing it, man, things have been improving a lot. Now he said, the first step is to know what you want. This is what we talk about all the time on this channel, to figure out what you want, right? And the second step is analyze the thing you must do to get it. The third step is plan your work ahead. The fourth step is do one thing at a time. The fifth is finish that one thing and send it on its way before starting the next. And the final step, once started, keep going. Now these are the six steps that if you apply them, if you really understand them and take them into account, you can achieve your dreams way more effectively. Because the manifestation of your dream also depends upon you acting in a certain way, actually applying the wisdom that is being shared with you through this channel and then making stuff happen for yourself. So the first step again is know what you want. Throughout all of our videos we talk about knowing what we want and this means to literally know what you want. And Sadly, many people, when they think of knowing what you want, they still kind of go for what they think they can get. When we talk about know what you want, we talk about something that you can actually feel rise from the depths of your being. You feel a passion, a burning desire for the realization of a certain goal. So it might be for wealth, it might be for success, it might be for a relationship, it might be a weight goal, whatever it is. It might be building your own business in a certain way that you always have dreamed of. It has to be something that is a burning desire within your heart and soul. Once that is in place, you can go on to the next steps. So for me personally, running this channel and building it up is a burning desire. I'm not even joking. This is something I really, really want to build up. I really want this to succeed. And you can all help me to succeed by sharing these videos wherever you can. Wherever you feel like it's appropriate to share them. Whether it's on your own social media, to friends who study this material, or whether it's on other websites like Reddit or Twitter or whatever, where it can reach people that are interested in learning more about the mind. So I know what I want. Do you know what you want? Because if you do, you're ready for the next step, which is to analyze the thing you must do to get it. For me, with any goal, like for the first time when I wanted to write a book, I've never, never done it before, I simply analyzed what I should do. I actually did it unconsciously, because before, well, back in those days, I didn't read this book yet, so I didn't have anyone suggest this to me necessarily, but this is what I would do unconsciously, and I think you would do the same. It's not really that uncommon for people to analyze, like, okay, what should I do in order to get this thing? What, what needs to be in place? So that's also not where we tend to fail, because I've talked to a couple of people in private in general, even over the years, more people than that, who always say, okay, I know I should be doing this or that, and then I probably can, you know, achieve what I want. So that's not really an issue to analyze the thing you must do to get it. You probably already have a lot of ideas on how to go about your business on realizing your own dream. So that's good. You have that step in place. But these six steps have to work in, a, in harmony so that it really makes a difference in your life. So the third step is to plan your work ahead. Now this simply means that you already... You see, planning your work ahead is really a really a good point now that I actually am going over this with you. Because if you think about it, if you have a day job right now that needs your attention, you might not be in a position to effectively act on your dreams all the time because of this day job. This is why planning your work ahead is so useful because then you're going to decide for yourself, okay, during those hours and minutes of my day, of my life, I'm going to work on my dream specifically. Most people, this is already where stuff starts to go bad for most people, is that they have the, the first two things in place, they know what they want, they have analyzed sort of, maybe not even to great depth, but at least sort of analyzed what they should do to get it, but they are not planning their works ahead of themselves. This is because they don't really believe that they can realize their dreams. But if you just start to plan your work ahead, where you have analyzed certain activities that you need to be involved in, in order to make your dream a reality, you start to make plans for those dreams on when you can act on them. 
when you can execute those things that are important to do where you feel and know this must be done in order for me to express and realize my dream so i'm going to plan it i'm going to stick to that plan i'm going to execute it and then you know stuff starts to move into form with and through you now the fourth step is do one thing at a time i like this for youtube you know this is exactly what i do do one thing at a time when i'm working on a video even right now i'm not thinking of any past videos i did or any future videos i will still make because i already have planned ahead multiple videos that's usually how it goes for me i have a document with all sorts of video ideas that i simply go over as time ticks on but i don't focus on them as i'm working on this video it makes sense right my whole conscious awareness is focused on this activity now that's what you want to start doing when you're working on your own dream you have to learn to focus all of your attention on the activities that you need to execute in order to make your dream come true you see most people are all over the place because physically they might be involved in this activity but you have to understand mentally mentally emotionally you also have to be completely focused on what you're involved in and you see what happens for many people is they work on their dreams perhaps physically but then mentally or emotionally they're full of doubts or they're thinking about all sorts of other things that are totally getting in the way of them actually properly working on their dream and making stuff happen so this one thing i do do one thing at a time so whatever those activities are in my case it's making a video for example i focus on that one thing i don't let anything else distract me i don't have time for that that's how intense you have to be as well and you can do that by again planning your work ahead where you have a set amount of time where you know now i'm going to focus on these activities again that need to be executed the fifth step is finish that one thing and send it on its way before starting the next well it's pretty obvious in the case of youtube again for me finish that one thing and send it on its way before starting the next simply means okay i have to finish this video i have to edit it together and then i have to upload it on my channel and then i send it on its way to reach whoever it's supposed to reach whoever it's supposed to help i just let that up to the universe i don't really worry about how many people is it reaching who is it reaching this and that all these little details that only create chaos and panic in your mind if you don't watch out i just let the let let it do whatever it is meant to do and then i go on to the next project in this case for me the next video so after i'm done with this video since i have this list if this one is finished recorded and edited i can just focus on that next video and work on that do these steps all over again the final step is once you start it, keep going so basically once you start living in this way you want to keep going in that way so the easiest way for me to sort of hint at what we're getting at here is if i take all these six steps and condense them into how i apply them for for example building this channel i know what i want okay i knew i wanted to have an inspirational channel analyze the thing you must do to get it well in order to get an audience or to build something on youtube i need to create content okay i already had experience of making content for a couple of years so i already analyzed many small details on what i should do in order to make the sort of content that i want so now i can make it and you're witnessing it right now plan your work ahead yes i already have a list always every day i have ideas floating into my mind that i know i should act upon and i just write them down i don't always act on them right away but this is the thing by writing them down by writing these ideas down that will come to you as well as you focus on your dream you're planning your work ahead so at least you have a plan of action that is based on inspired ideas coming from god itself the universe do one thing at a time in my case I work on one video at a time it's pretty obvious how could i work on multiple videos all at the same time that makes no sense so for you as well if you know what you want you're going to have to analyze all the things that need to be done in order to make it a reality then do one thing at a time for me it means building a channel means focus on individual videos one at a time and just post them and keep posting them consistently and for you if it's not being a youtuber you will see this still works no matter what it is it's like with writing a book you're going to have to plan your work ahead okay are you going to write a chapter a day or at least work on a chapter each day do one thing at a time well work on one chapter now are you do you see what we're getting at here now finish that one thing finish this one video finish that one chapter 
finish making that, that call to a client, finish doing this or that, and send it on the way before starting next. Once started, keep going. I've been applying these steps right now on my YouTube channel and it has been working very effectively and will keep working for me very, very effectively. That's much I do know. So you see, these six steps, the issue with people is that they know what they want, but one of these steps is missing. Really consider it for yourself. If you're having difficulty realizing your dreams, think about these six steps we just shared and ask yourself which one is missing or which one am I not applying as effectively as I should. Because I promise you it is in these six steps. These are the six steps. If you apply them, will help you to manifest your dream, to actually grow towards the realization of your dreams way more effectively than you ever realized that you could. So I'll, re I'll re read them all again for you, just because we have to burn this into mind, just so you can really analyze this. If you're having trouble, that is. Know what you want, analyze the thing you must do to get it, plan your work ahead, do one thing at a time, finish that one thing and send it on its way before starting the next one started to keep going now do you understand what you should be doing on a daily basis after i've shared these steps with you because this all ties into what you are going to decide upon for yourself i can't tell you what you should be doing in order to realize your dream i can only hint at it if it's a similar dream than mine i can again hint at you could be doing this or that in order to make it easier for you to realize your dream. I do this all the time for people in private who want to be a YouTuber, for example. I just tell them, this is how I go about it. If you do the same, you will start to see results for yourself. Trust me, it works. Now, these six steps, you want to apply them for whatever dream you have. So you know what you want. You analyze the thing you must do to get it. You see, all these things are so, they make so much sense, but yet we tend to skip them because of those doubts and worries we have inside our consciousness at first but if we can set those aside for a moment and just open up our minds and allow ourselves to consider what should be done in order to get what i want then these ideas start to flow inside of your consciousness on which you can act and if you act on them according to the six steps you will be consistently and progressively growing towards the realization of a bigger dream of a great purpose that you've always wanted to realize for yourself the only thing you have to understand is it works, but you have to apply it yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. I cannot do it for you and neither can your friends do it for you. You are going to have to do it for yourself. And if you do that, write these six steps down if you have to, and then look at your dream and analyze, are you applying all six of them? If so, you can agree with me, stuff is manifesting, but if you're not applying all of them, Perhaps you finally see one of the steps where you're like, hmm, I'm not really applying this one as effectively as I should. So I'm going to work on this part and then everything starts to flow more and more with and through you in a much more effective way. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to receive inspirational videos on a regular basis. And with that being said, dear viewer, never forget that we are the dreamers.